uh, your, your guests for visiting us today. Happy painting. We see you next time. Hi, we are here with artist Daniel Fickham. I'm going to interview him and see what inspires him to do the artwork that he does, his creative mind and intelligence all put together to make the beautiful artwork of this century. Here, would you like to see the microphone? Just a second. Yeah. Daniel. Oui, oui. The things that have most influenced me in the, see, the things that you mentioned of uh, creativity, originality, uh, is, has been my trips abroad uh, from, from this land. I studied mostly the arts in a university in Paris. I did there uh, the portraits of the tour of the Eiffel, known to you Americans as the Eiffel Tower. I traveled extensively throughout the Roman and Greek, uh, uh, how you say, uh, landscape or countryside. And here is where I found the tranquility and the peace to be able to manipulate this feeling onto a two-dimensional plane. I owe most of my uh, creativity uh, aspects to the introduction of the television, in particular uh, ones that would be, how you say in English, most uh, crucial to the development of everything in the uh, and in this part of the uh, country. Well, I can hear that. <laughs> um, and what, who inspired you to do this? Um, I understand you haven't been painting for that long, and you're already a master. Yes, uh, I think a lot of the inspiration is, you know, I knew exactly in my head uh, what is it was I wanted to do. And it was a matter of finding a little bit of time and a little bit of monies, of course, to, uh, which we will discuss in a little bit of how you can help uh, me uh, continue in this uh, work of arts. A little bit of money to buy the initial uh, materials, um, the cost of the paints, the brushes, the canvases, uh, and to be able to exhibit openly on the free market and I like to thank I guess mostly George Bush for his interest in the fine arts. Uh, without this uh, great man's dedication, without this great man's uh, willingness and desire to promote from uh, within his own communities uh, the things that people would be most interested in doing and to foresee the foreign uh, exchange of uh, both ideas and policies, political, religious, and uh, historical, uh, he can only be summed up as a, uh, in how we say in English, uh, 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 the, prize, uh, the Nobel Prize, Pulitzer Prize, you know, uh, what I, I'm saying, one of these people who, who would win this award uh, when he is giving the opportunity to display his uh, proper authorities. If I can, uh, one minute uh, before uh, before the, uh, you interrupt uh, this interview, uh, there has been a lot of debates coming from the homeland that I would like to clarify now, uh, off the record, uh, or on the record. Uh, no, okay, and then on the record, which would be, Elvis Presley has not habitated in the country of Argentina, uh, Elvis Presley, I, I understand, has been told, uh, or it has been told here, that uh, he has uh, uh, been witnessed uh, doing things in, uh, in in association with the 
uh, political activities in Waco, Texas, uh, the, the Branch Davidians. Uh, no way am I going to be affiliated with this uh, organization, uh, Miss Justice. And this is just a little political comment I wanted to make to uh, clarify everything. Uh, but I would like you to join me in uh, my next episode of Painting at Home, How to Have Fun, How to Be Going from an Introduction Beginner to a person like myself of world-class uh, recognition in two or three months. So we join you in next show, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> Good evening. Here we are tonight on a very special program with a very special guest of painting at home. Her name is Jennifer. Studied classical painting through masters in both Louvre, Notre Dame, and the uh, Isles of uh, Sicily. Did an extensive world tour uh, displaying her works on you know, five continents. Has exhibited in the, uh, numerous museums internationally and also uh, locally. A uh, local native of the uh, Pennsylvania uh, series that we will be running here. And I would like you to say hello. Hello. How is everybody today? Tonight's topic of discussion would will be how painting and art has influenced the artists themselves in their transformation of uh, both renowned, knowledgeable experiences. <laughs>